this is his app right here this is his app turf therapy app What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back. For your boy, B. Davis, on Wild Top coming now. I'm gonna get straight into it. What we're doing, what we got going on right here today is, I need some weed to feed. That's what I need. <clears throat> now, first and foremost, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching. If you are new, hit the subscribe button down below, right there. Also hit the bell icon so you don't miss any videos of season two of long time coming baby we back yeah also this is long time coming quarantine style check out my mask mm. bang what y'all know about that i don't know nothing about that iron man anyways so i'm out here at the at the in-laws house and as you guys saw i put down some image for southern lawn the mixed version um and also what i'm going to do is i'm going to get get some um some weed and feed down too. Now, the thing about weed and feed is a little bit different because you know um, when you're working with weed and feed, you have to kind of stay stay right with what the directions give you. You can't, you know, um, be flexible, go up and down. Of course, when you just got like the 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 feed in it, the fertilizer part in it, you can take that up and down as much as you want. But well, when it's weed and feed, you know, you want to kind of you know keep it right where it needs to be. Also, with the weed feed, we're looking for the type of weed to feed for St. Augustine lawn. Now, with St. Augustine lawn, that comes with um, centipede grass, you know, um, and a couple other grasses with that. What I have found out was here. You got Sunny Land weed to feed for St. Augustine, 2006, 20% 20 nitrogen, no phosphorus, 6% potassium. You also have Scott's bonus S, you know, and then you got some other stuff. What I re recognize is that when it's weed and feed, if you can see, they do it with the purple. Purple typically indicates that it's weed and feed. Now, I don't know if Scott's jocked it from Sunnyland, Sunnyland jocked it from Scott's, anything along those lines. There's some purple right there, that's Sunnyland, you know, so I don't know, but we're gonna focus right here on the sunny land weed and feed here you know for st augustine centipede lawns you know also and it's broadleaf grassy weed control you know premium live food that's what you want here you know uh, what we are looking at when we're looking at uh weed and feed we want to look for atrazine you know and of course the weed and feed has atrazine in it that's what you want you know so we're gonna grab this and we're gonna take it off and let's learn a little bit more about it. Yeah, yeah. Now, when we're talking about weed and feed, some people like it, some people don't like it. You know, um, it all depends. When you're dealing with weed and feed, you know, you don't have too much room to wiggle when it comes to the feed part. Um, weed and feed, you definitely wanna to stick to what it says on the back and how much it says on the back. Reason is because with the atrazine, you don't wanna to put too little, but then you don't wanna to put too much. You wanna put exactly what the bag says. If you're just throwing out fertilizer, then you can kinda of dial that up or down, you know, do whatever you want, however you see fit. That's perfectly fine. Typically, when you see these bags that has purple on them, um, typically that means that it's a weed and feed. You know, um, you can see like the Scots, you can see like the professional grade of of um, Sunnyland, or you can see like the DIY bag here, which has also got, you know, that purple that's involved in there. Um, so along with that, along with this bag of weed and feed, 20% nitrogen. That means that this whole bag has 20% nitrogen in it, 6% potassium in it, in this whole bag. This is a 20 pound bag and it covers 5,000 square feet. How much nitrogen um, is actually going to be a part of that. At this time, I mean, you really never really want to put down more, more than a pound of nitrogen, especially right now. But if you can get anywhere close to that, then okay. If you can do, you know, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, um, 0.9% of nitrogen, that's fine. I would recommend like around 0.8, you know, uh, percent of um, nitrogen to put down in the grass 
you know, um, that way it, it, it that'll be perfect, right, right on the money to send the grass where it needs to be, get strengthened in roots. Now, with that being said, let me show you guys the easy, simple way right here from a buddy of mine. Turf Therapy app. Now, my buddy Turf Therapy, I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel. Go over there and give him a follow. He's changing the game. He's changing the game for all of us in the DIY world. He created an app a few months ago. This is his app right here. This is his app, Turf Therapy app. You can download it on, on Android and you can download it through the App Store. I do have a link to that below that will give um, a couple of a little discount and everything to you guys but I think the app is like two bucks or whatnot uh, but with this app the math is done for you there's no more of figuring it out you can just pop it in so down here you have you have granules or you have liquid so let's go into the granules bang and so now all, all you want to do is plug in the numbers exactly what it says here and then let's see what it says so we said this bag is a 2006 20% nitrogen, zero phosphorus, 6% potassium. Now, your target rate of nitrogen, of course we want nitrogen in there. Reason is because nitrogen drives the bus. Anytime you want to put something, when you want to start talking about fertilizer, put fertilizer down, you want to start off with nitrogen. That's what gets it going. Nitrogen holds everything together. That's what's going to strip at the roots and things of that nature. But there's only so much that you want to put. Um, so it's recommended that you don't want to put over a pound per thousand of nitrogen in your grass because a pound is kind of pushing it so if you want to go for anything under that your target rate of nitrogen in pounds per thousand so we said we want to at least do like 0.8 of nitrogen line size what are we working with here we're working with 1,500 square feet. How much do the bag weigh? Well, this bag weighs 20 pounds. And what's the cost of this bag? I can't remember, but let's find out. 17.98. 17.98, right there. So if my numbers was right, calculate. Bang. What does it say right here? Application rate, four pounds per thousand. Is that what I have there? Four pounds per thousand. Yes, I do. And it tells you right here, 0.8% of nitrogen is gonna go down. So if you put it in four pounds per thousand, then 0.8% of that nitrogen is gonna go into the grass. Bang, about 6% of the bag, boom. So we're right. Let me, show, let me show you guys what else you could do with this app right here. You can create a new project on it. Um, you can save it as like sunny land, like weed and feed, right then and there. And you can save it just like that to the point where you could just go back and look at it at all times. I do have it saved here under my presets. So if I hit presets, look at that. Same thing, pops up. Bang. Turf therapy, you doing your thing, brother. Now, with that being said, so we know we need four pounds per thousand. So we already said that we need six pounds to cover 1,500 square feet of this weed feed. Now, let's crank out the old edge guard and uh, let's ride north it a little bit. Next, we're going to talk about spreader settings here. So with this St. Augustine weed feed, my spreader settings is set for five. Now, B. Davis, where did you get five from? Simple. This is all I did, guys. I took the name of the bag, Sunnyland, St. Augustine, Weed and Feed, you know, and I popped it right here on the website, on the Sunnyland website, under, under the spreader settings, and it tells you right here, it tells you right there that it's Sunnyland Weed and Feed, Sunnyland Weed and Feed, and your broadcast spreader should be five and a half. So we're gonna put it at five and a half. Now, of course, you play with this number. 
once you get the fertilizer in here you start pushing it out you'll see if it's coming out fast enough for you it's too slow for you and then you can adjust that yourself you can dial it but you still want to get it even cold so for those of you that's just beginning i would recommend once again following exactly what the step says the direction says keeping it right where it says five and a half once you have your spreader settings all set on five and a half you know exactly how much weeding feed you need which is six pounds per 1500 square feet now you might be asking yourself all right how do i find out how much is four pounds six pounds eight pounds for you beginners this is how you do it this is exactly what i did i took my scale that i had in the house i took an empty bucket i had in the house i took my fertilizer which is right here popped that bad boy in there took that bad boy set it on top of here weighed it once I got to that four pounds, six pounds, I knew exactly what it was. Dumped it over into the edge, the um, the spreader, and off I went. Let's do it. So just take your time. Look at that. So I forgot my PPEs, but now a trick of the trade for you guys. If you have your fertilizer in here and you want to weigh it, and if you set it on here. And if it doesn't pick up on your weight of the bucket, what you can do is you can stand on it, get your weight, then step off, pick up the bucket, hold the bucket, get your weight again, and you should see the increase as such. Zeroes out. My weight, step off. Two forty four. Let it zero out again. Step on with the bucket. Two fifty one. So that tells me there that give or take, we're right at about six pounds, give or take here or there. You know, um, it registered at, at seven, 6.8, perfectly fine. As long as I'm close to it, that's where I want to be. You know, until you can get yourself a, a suitcase scale where you put in a bucket and you connect the suitcase scale and you pull it up that way, it'll give you a more accurate. But for those, for those of us that's new, if this is all that we have to use, go for it. Mighty fine. Got it in. Weed and feeders on it. Let it work. Water it in. You know, because you want to make sure that them granules get down in there. Watch it die. Watch it grow. Watch it go real slow, baby. And that is how beginners, at least myself, that's how I did it when I first started. As you proceed, you will start making decisions on yourself. Bigger, bigger spreader you know more advanced um tools and everything that you need to make that job a lot easier but for those of you that are just starting this is what i did at home got my own scale got me a paint bucket you know um got the basic stuff got the the cheapest um spreader I think the spreader was probably like 30 bucks so it ain't like it's that cheap you know 30 35 dollars you know but this is what it is and so this is what i'm gonna have to do i got rid of all my good stuff so I'm going to start all over. So I'm going to be starting right with you guys. But until then, water it in. Be nice to each other. Stay safe. Wash your hands. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.